Well, hello, YouTubers. Well, it begins Project Toyota 4Runner. I think some of you saw my previous video. Picked this thing up for $300, and it runs. Just got some frame issues, some rust, and a couple places that need to be fixed. And here's a brief look at it. If you haven't seen it, get the key out. Looks really good on the inside, hardly any tears. Seats are immaculate. This is a 2000 model. And if you want to see what it looks like, go back to my previous video. Uh, you can see what it looks like. And this has got the uh, 3.4 motor. These are notorious, of course, for head gasket issues. But this one has been taken really good care of. And I don't have any issues with overheating or anything. I think I can get this up with one hand. And there's a look at it. Now, I do have a PO305 uh, and a PO300 random misfire. So, we're going to have to check tonight and see if it's either coil or a wire or see what's going on with that. But uh, it's holding good uh, antifreeze, no leaks. I filled it up yesterday. Had it running a little bit today. Still pretty full. No problem there. So that is great. Oil looks very clean and all that. So uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of things to this. So uh, you guys can kind of follow along. We'll start. And if you want to hear it run, go back up to my last video and I have it running. So what we're doing now, uh, I'm starting on the frame. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this wheel off and pull the hub off. Well, not the hub, the, uh, the, the uh, get into the brakes here. I want to see exactly what's going on. So what I want to do is go ahead and pull this wheel off and look at pull the drum off and check the brakes. Brakes are uh, the brakes are in really good shape, so I don't have too much to worry about. And by the way, these lug nuts on this is a three-quarter inch lug nut. Here's what they kind of look like: kind of a long, gated lug nut. So let's go ahead and take this wheel off. And there's a look at that. And this thing has a massive drum. Look at the size of that drum on that back to this here. So what we're gonna do is pop this off. I've got my wire brush. I got a can of paint here, black paint. I'll try not to hit the camera. And we're gonna pull this off and see what we got. Sometimes you gotta have a little patience getting these off. Alright, there we go. Oh, what a big drum. Wow, 16 inch wheels. Alright, so what we're gonna look here first at is the inside this drum, and uh, I think I can see there. Yeah, it's in pretty good shape. That's great. All the way around, I don't see any grooves, so that's good. So we'll set this off to the side. And now, here are the brakes. The brake pads, check those out. I think you can see that. Let me slide the camera up a little bit for you guys. And uh, still got a little bit of tread on the pad. Well, thickness. Anyway, and uh, let's see, check the other side here. Yeah, pretty good shape. Uh, brake shoes are really good, so that is great. So what we're gonna do is clean this up a little bit. Try to knock some of the rust off. I'm not sure if the emergency brake works, but uh, it seems like all the cables are hooked up. And as you can see, here is some of the brake cables, emergency brake cables that go into the back of the back of this here. What I'm gonna do, I have some used oil. I'm going to squirt some oil under here. Then I'm going to take some. Uh, I'm going to take a wire brush and clean up the frame and paint it a little bit black, and slowly work my way up to the front on this side. Then uh, go to the other side. And there's a couple places on the frame on the other side that I need to get a small plate and weld in, but uh, not a big deal. It pays to have a welder. And there is the uh, end links. Pretty good shape. Typical northeast vehicle. But overall, I've seen a lot worse. And I've had a lot worse. So uh, we'll go ahead and clean these brakes up, but I'm gonna give you a nice look here, uh, how everything is assembled. 
There's the spring. There's the adjustment thimble, I like to call. And these are pretty big pads. Uh, brake shoes, I should say. And it looks like you got a spring down here on the bottom. Kind of a deal. Well, actually, yeah, you got a little spring right here. Then you got this adjustment thing here, and this is for the emergency brake. So basically, you have one spring on the bottom. Then you have that cable for the emergency brake. And on top, you have one massive spring, which is right there. That goes to that brake pad, uh, brake shoe. And over this brake shoe, then you got your adjustment here. So, so that's how that goes in case any of you are working on any of your uh, forerunners on the 2000 model and you're confused how to put it back together. This is how mine is set up right now. Now I'll hold the camera there so you can kind of pause the video and look at it real quick. Because I know I've had to go back and look at videos to figure out how things go back together. Because we all make mistakes, so, you know. So there you go. All right, so what I'm going to do is set the camera up on time lapse. I'm going to clean this up a little bit and start painting. You can watch me before it gets too late here. And this will be uh, one of several videos I'll be doing on this. So uh, let's get this done. Start on it. How about that? We got that uh, frame there pretty clean. Got some good paint on it. And this frame is only about an inch and uh, I'm gonna say about uh, not even three inches thick on the top. So uh, it's not a really thick frame to work with. So it's really nice. And you can see I got everything painted there. And even on the bottom, don't be afraid uh, to put some paint on there. 
And this is uh, the glossy black water repellent, repellent paint. You can use regular brake cleaner if you want. It's a little more expensive, but uh, the pads are in good shape. And also, I decided to take a little bit of paint, the, uh, the drum. So um, when I look through the rim, I'll see the drum, and it'll remind me that I've worked on this side. So, looks uh, pretty good. No more rusty frame. So it looks like uh, we're uh, on this side. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up and we'll be back here in the next video. We'll go look at the other side of the brakes and see how they look and hit that side. All I have to do is paint a small section back here and uh, do the other side. Then I'm going to work my way forward on the frame. So uh, there you go. So thanks for watching, guys. Now at least you know how to get your uh, hub off of your Forerunner and what your brakes and springs should look like and all that good stuff. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Until my next video on this uh, Forerunner, I'll see you then.